Hey guys, welcome back. John here again with Zayon TV, and I just turned on World Borders, and that's absolutely terrible. So, welcome back to Attack of the B Team, and hmm, how did I do this? Was it that one? Nope, wasn't that one. It's one of these here. Uh, nope, not that one. World? Nope, not that one. Commands? Nope. <laughs> Oh my goodness, key bindings. Uh, world? Here we go. Um, okay, so let's reassign this to... We'll put it on page up. Maybe. Uh, am I going to screw something else? Okay, there we go. Perfect. Um, Alright, so yeah. Welcome back, guys, to Attack of the B Team. That's right. And uh, today we got a few projects we're going to work on. Um, one of them, I just wanted to show you guys. It's kind of cool looking. You look at all these saplings, I planted, I think, pink, purple, red, and green, I think was all I planted in here. And it actually looks kind of cool, so it planted kind of normally at the beginning, and then all of a sudden it started doing a very sporadic kind of thing, and we're just kind of growing a whole bunch of trees here. But this looks kind of awesome. Um, as well, I also added in some of these little fruits and veggies, actually I think they're all fruits, tomatoes are fruit. Strawberries of fruit. Well, rice is a veggie. Um, we added in some fruits and veggies um, just to uh, see what we could get growing. I tested out off camera the sprinklers, um, and that's why you see this the water things right here. There's four of them. There's one there. There is one here, and there is one here. Um, and basically, they're all hooked up down here. Uh, to an aqueous accumulator, and then they're all piped up into those open brackets, uh tanks. Um, so yeah, that's what I did with that. Um, they work okay, the only issue is they keep growing grass as well, um, which is kind of annoying. So what I may do, I may try to find, I think in this version, there is actually dirt that won't spread. Um, so I may go try to, f that won't let grass spread onto it. I may go ahead and try to find that. Um, hopefully that works because right now this dirt is, uh, or this grass with all the tall grass growing on it is absolutely terrible. Okay, so that was the one thing I worked on. The other thing I worked on is the house. Now I'm going to try to stay low enough that you can't see it yet. Um, the house itself is no different than it was in any previous, in the previous episode. The difference is, and you can kind of see it up there in the mini-map, it's that kind of like silverish look. Um, wait a minute. Why is that? Do you guys see in the mini-map how it's like white all underneath me and over that way? I wonder what that is. Huh. Okay, oh well. Um, so let me go ahead and show you guys what I did here. So the issue I was running into, and you'll see these legs are still here, but the issue I was running into was the house didn't look supported in any way, shape, or form with just those little struts there. And I felt like it was detracting from the integrity of the build. Um, so I decided I thought like a little platform to go around it would look kind of cool, and then the struts would make it look like it's holding up the platform which it actually does that extremely well. Um, and I'm actually really happy with the way it looks right now. Um, so you see these struts coming up and it holds this platform and then the house is kind of built onto the platform and also here onto the grass. Um, so that's kind of a cool little look um, that I've got going there. I really like the way it looks. There's a little bit more work that I want to put into it. Um, and I'm not exactly sure what I want to do to it. I think it needs a little bit more support across the bottom, maybe like some cross beams that go across there, or maybe an X that comes across and then one that goes out here. Maybe. I don't know. I'm going exper to experiment with that a little bit more off camera um, because it's kind of boring to watch me do that on camera because it's a lot of place, break, place, break. I don't like that. I like that. I don't like that. Whatever. Um, so, yeah. Now, I'm not sure if I showed you guys this little roof here in the last episode. I can't remember if I did. I may have. If I did, uh, sorry, I'm just going to go over it real quick. Um, I did finish this roof up, roof up. It's got that nice slope there. Um, I think I did show you that in the last episode. Sorry, guys, I'm going a little bit fast here. Um, I want to get this over with so we can get into what I want to show in today's episode. 
But uh, real quick, I just want to show you this roof. Uh, it kind of comes up. It's got the same sort of feel as the top roof uh, like that. And then as well, it's the same here. It's very low slope here. And then it kind of comes up and then loops around. And I think this looks kind of cool as well as I put a golden lantern in here uh, just to su supply some light and give it kind of a cool look. Uh, and I really like the way these the models for this looks. I think it looks really, really cool. Um, okay, so there is one more thing I want to show you, and that is I made a hammer. Um, and if we go over here, if I put it in here, you can see exactly what's on it. Um, the hammer has, I added the flux, uh, the energy, the RF, uh, leadstone energy cell so it holds power rather than using durability um, I added a uh, whole bunch of redstone into it to make it faster and I added the silky smooth thing to give it some uh, silk touch as well um, and I actually had to add a modifier to do that but uh, real quick let me show you guys what I did downstairs in the basement um, I went ahead and started to get this place rolling um, I didn't do too much I got um, this little section here is where the uh, cells for these are going to be um, and if I decide I need more I'm going to put three more down below it and then I'm going to dig this floor out and have it kind of like a suspended floor so you'd have three down there three up here uh, exactly like this just mirrored underneath so that's how that works we have one two three four five cells uh, two already complete three more ready for uh, more chests. At the moment we don't need them. Um, I believe these two chests are still pretty much empty. Uh, probably before the next episode or maybe on the next episode we're gonna work on making another cell here um, because this is really our last two chests. So we have about a chest and a half. Maybe about a chest and three quarters. So uh, yeah, we're running out of room and we're gonna need it soon. Now, as well, this is kind of the theme I'm going to go for for this room. Um, and let me get out of being a bat here. Um, but I want everything to be these 45 and 90 degree angles. So straight and then angled. Um, and that's how the design's going to be. That's why th these walls are like this. I think it looks cool. Look kind of like a bunker. Um, and that's the look I'm going for. Oh, and, and as well, I added another one of these down here um, so we can get to all of our items down here and not have to fly all the way back upstairs. Uh, there are going to be doors here. Um, they're probably... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do that now. Um, and then in just a bit, we'll get back to um, showing you guys my idea for the design. Um, and then let's add... We'll need four of these... I like the way the the this looks uh, with the marble as the carpenter's block uh, or carpenter's door like that. I think that looks really, really cool. Um, we are going to want to change um, what that looks like. And we're going to do that like this, not like that. Um, I think maybe that... Uh, that one I think looks kind of cool here because it looks like a machine room kind of thing where you can see through it um, but you can still use the door um, you can what, what did I just say you can see through it and you can still use the door duh you can use it it's a door uh, I'm stupid um, but it, it looks kind of like machiney look so you would walk through kind of I, I don't know ignore me I'm just talking um, but yeah uh, so I got that finished up, uh, well not finished up, but I want to do, I think I'm going to change these walls out to the, oh, what's it called, uh, construction, I spelled that wrong, uh, construction, factory block, that's it. Um, and let me go to the real one, uh, factory, I think it's two iron and two stone block, uh, yeah, uh, I think, oh no, it's four iron and four stone gives you 32, um, but we're gonna do that off camera, or maybe in a little bit, I wanna show you guys, I wanna finish up showing you guys the idea that I have for the design, um, so here I think I'm gonna put something not sure what it is yet maybe my bed will go here i don't know haven't gotten to that point yet 
but uh, this will be a spot for something, maybe special chests or something like that. Uh, actually, it won't be that because that stuff's in there. Um, but this is going to be a spot for something, and if not, I'm just going to close this wall up. But I kind of liked the way this room looked where it was kind of like a bump out of the wall, so it came out and then had the other 45 degree angle here and then went back. I thought that looked kind of cool, it looked like a piece of a bunker. Um, which is exactly how I want this basement to look and I like this kind of rounded corner I think I'm gonna do that at all the corners um, Makes it feel kind of a little bit nicer in here But let me go ahead and show you guys the how quickly this hammer works actually um, It's incredibly fast pretty much just click down and boom. It's gone. I am getting some weird lag going on Not sure what's causing that um, hopefully not an issue with the world. I have been running backups all the time, um, just to prevent from losing another world, because that's, I lost the last one through a crash, um, and that kind of made me a little sad. Um, so, yeah, so I got you guys all caught up now, um, I think that's everything I did off camera, I think. Um, if not, I will show you guys when I come back, but what I want to do right now, I'm going to go ahead and get some materials together. Um, and I'm going to get ready to start working on that basement a little bit. Uh, we did a lot of work on this house here last episode. So I want to kind of change gears and do something else um, this episode. So yeah, let me go ahead and get some materials and stuff together. And I'll be back with you guys as soon as I have everything that I need. See you in a bit. Alrighty guys, we just had a really nice lag spike there. Okay, um, so, like I said, uh, at the end of the last little part there, the part that you guys just saw that was three days ago for me, um, I said I was gonna get some work done and get some stuff together for the basement here, um, but I changed what I said I was gonna do a little bit. So, mm, my mouth hurts. I have ulcers in my mouth. Um, Okay, so I did some work, like I said I would, um, and I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, so let me become a person here. Um, so I made these supports kind of looking things. Um, I think they look kind of cool. Um, so you got like this tunnel here with these supports on the sides, and it actually does go down that way. It doesn't go anywhere yet. But also right here, there's a staircase that you can go down. And it's kind of like a round staircase. And down here is where my auto spawner is going to be. And I actually just made one of these. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and place it down here. Um, what the heck? Hmm. That was weird. Um, yeah. So we're going to go ahead and set up an auto spawner. Now... The one thing I really need to catch right now is an Enderman. Um, so what I'm going to do, I wanted to show you guys this stuff uh, real quick. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and go try to find an Enderman. Uh, and while I'm talking, I'm just going to grab some stuff out of here. Uh, some stuff I want to put back. But uh, yeah, I'm going to go have to try to find an Enderman. Did I not request that? No, I didn't. Um, I'm going to go have to try to find an enderman to capture um, because I need some ender balls because I want to make a, um, a resonant energy cell um, because my, uh, what is it, the redstone energy cell just isn't holding enough. Um, I do have enough materials to do that. Um, but I need to definitely get an enderman. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here once again. I'm going to go ahead and find an enderman and I'll be back with you guys as soon as I have one. Alright guys, so I paused the game here real quick because I found an enderman. Um, and apparently pausing it doesn't stop the game because that zombie just walked across. But, I found an enderman and he has the ender backpack on too. Oh my goodness, this is such an ever so amazing win. Um, let me see. Did I get him? Yes, I did. Yes, that's great. That is absolutely wonderful. Okay, so I got the Enderman, um, which is exactly what we needed. So now what we need to get is, um, let's go ahead and dump this in here. Uh, what I need to get now is, well, first of all, I want to sleep. 
Uh, and I need to get out of morph for that. But I need to get the XP uh, syringe pump thing to get my XP out of my body and get mob essence. Um, so that... Get out of here, stupid head. Oh, no, now I'm a spider. Okay, well, we're just going to remain a spider. Climb up some walls. Ooh, I want to try something. How? I guess I can't make it up around that lip, though. Would be the only issue. Yeah. Okay. So, what I want to do here real quick is... What did I just press? I have no idea what I just pressed. Um, okay, so like I said, what I want to do here is I got to get that uh, open blocks uh, thingamajig. Open blocks at open blocks. Hmm, let's see. At open. Open. There we go. Um, and then I need the, I think it's like the XP syringe, maybe. Uh, reading glasses, crayon glasses. Is it not open blocks? I think it is. Hmm. I know I'm completely missing it here. Oh, the item cannon. Hmm. Is it not open blocks? Am I... Or am I just completely missing it? Hmm. Okay, let's try this. I have a feeling it's right in front of my face and I was just missing it. Um, I think it's like XP extractor. X... Yes. Uh, it was Mine Factory Reloaded. That's why I couldn't find it. Okay, so it's five plastic sheets two glass um okay so we're gonna actually finish off the episode crafting this and then in the next episode we're gonna take care of moving along with this um but we're gonna need let's just do a whole bunch uh 16 should be fine i think yeah that'll be fine um, okay, so, and then I need two rubber bars and five plastic sheets. Okay, so that should be good. Mm. Burp freaking city right here. Uh, okay, let's let that go through uh, so that we don't have any is issues with that. Um, let's go ahead and break this off because it is almost completely charged. And then that way we never run out of power here. Um, okay, is that through? It is. This should give me rubber bars, correct? Yes. Okay, so I need two of these. And once two of these come through, we're just gonna take those and go over here and put those there and those there. Okay, now we just need the five rubber, or um, something, sheets, plastic sheets, and we will be good to go. So let me go ahead and cut here real quick as this finishes up, and I'll be back with you guys in just a second. Alrighty, so the last four, I just, I ended up taking some out, so we only ended up making eight uh, raw plastic, but that's going to give us eight um, of the plastic sheets as well. So... We have it all made perfect. Look at that perfection. Okay, great. Um, so I think that's going to have to be it for this video, guys. Uh, let me go ahead and grab... I got three. Um, let's grab some buckets real quick. We'll go ahead and fill... Do I not have any buckets? Buck... Nope. Iron. Um, let's do nine sure uh that will give us three buckets but let's let's go ahead and fill up that uh the auto spawner down there just real quick uh before we end the episode because uh that's hello are they gone forever nope okay i'm an idiot 
Um, okay, so let's go ahead and grab these three buckets out of my head. Um, and then let's go fill up the... Oops, sorry, plant. Um, let's go fill up the auto spawner. Let's see how much this gives us. This should give us enough to spawn maybe two Endermen. I mean, I don't think... We're, gonna, we're not going to need that many. Uh, just a few... Oh, way more than enough. Um, how many blocks do we have between... Oh, goody, good. Uh, we are going to need to go up one more block uh, to make this four blocks tall so that we can spawn ghasts. But, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, please leave that down in the comment section below. I was just looking away and walked into a wall. Yeah, thank you guys for watching. And, yeah. I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.